Hi, in the last video, we have implemented dynamic row level security in Power BI desktop. In this video, we will go to Power BI service and visualize how individual users view the data after implementing the dynamic row level security. So let's go to Power BI. So in Power BI service, first let me go to the data set and let me add users to the role that I have already created. So go to the data set and uh, there will be three dots and over there go and click security. You see the role that we had created in the desktop version. And to view the results of the dynamic role level security, what I will do is I will go and add myself to this particular role. Okay, because I do not have the login credentials of other users. So I cannot meaningfully go and view what other users can see. So that's why I'm going and adding myself. So let me click add and save, save the security settings. And then let me go and test test role. And you see that once I apply the role or once I add myself to the role, I'm only seeing the records where my email address is there. Okay. So I'm not able to see other three records or in other words, we have applied dynamic role level security where our logged in username or the logged in email is been taken into consideration to selectively show the data to the user. So let me go back to role level security and add one other user and let me save it. And again, I will go and uh, say test as role here. Anyway, I will only see uh, my email address or my record. So I will go and choose a particular email address and see how that person will see the data. And note that Karthik sees only his record and no one else's. Okay. So this is how Karthik sees the data. So in this and the previous video tutorial, we had looked at how to implement dynamic row level security in Power BI. We have also looked at the shortcomings of static row level security and how our dynamic row level security overcomes that. And static row level security and dynamic row level security are two kinds of security models that you can implement for your data model. And we have covered both of them up till now. Thank you.